want to start with the most important question, um, which probably doesn't pertain to many people, but it affects me. You'll notice I'm very white. And I'm just curious, what is the secret to making a movie on a beach in a bathing suit and not getting sunburned? A lot of sunblock. When I say a lot, I mean like completely smothered in layers and layers and layers of it. Because as you can see, I too am very pale. Um, and so and my mum would have killed me if I had gotten horribly burnt. So um, yeah, sunblock, hats, sunglasses, um, all of it. <laughs> yeah, I've just wondered because I mean, you're in the sun that whole movie. And I'm like, how did she not get sunburnt? But I was kind of amazed too. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure why, how I didn't get burnt. Um, but I guess in New Zealand, the sun is very strong. There's a layer missing in the, in the, in the ozone layer. There's a hole. So maybe my skin was just like used to really intense rays. Um, yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a movie. What do you think uh, might surprise people to learn about the making of old? We were really up against the elements, I think, um, filming on a beach during the hurricane season, um, which is something I'm like I've never experienced before. Um, so before we even started filming, there was um, some insane weather and part of the set got pulled out of the sea and so they had to rebuild it. Um, just yeah, being on the beach in the sun for long hours um, was a big challenge but it was also really cool to kind of get through it with the with the rest of the cast and the whole crew and yeah also just like such a wonderful place to be filming um on that beach amidst so much nature and it was really exciting and the set was so incredible with all the rocks and everything that they had they had built by the way congratulations on the movie i really enjoyed it um and i was thinking about it the next day completely sidebar uh what has it been like for you uh, the last like year or two, maybe I think that's two years, like landing cool project after cool project? It's been amazing. Um, it's been very surreal and it all kind of it happened really fast. It was like a, a snowball kind of like rolling down the hill and building and building and building. So when the pandemic hit, it was um, and everything kind of came to a screech to a standstill. It was a bit of a shock to kind of reflect on the past couple of years and, and realize how much had happened in such a short period of time. Um, similarly to the film kind of, I don't know, like just like the, the, the themes of time and aging and, and, and all of that. So um, yeah, it's been a real crazy journey, but I'm just so excited to, to be where I am and to be, to be working and to be doing what I love. I just wrapped um, a series called Life After Life that I had the most incredible experience on. So I just have like, I don't know, I just want to keep on going and keep on acting and working. It's just, it makes me so happy. And um, I don't know, so I'm really very excited. Uh, I have to stop there. I'm just going to say congratulations. And obviously I'm incredibly excited for Edgar Wright's movie as well. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I can't wait for you all to see it.